guys what's going on my name is Louis. today is october 2nd 2024 and welcome to the real gs news channel guys make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell we have some breaking news coming out panic buying begins all right so we are seeing costco walmart sam's club a lot of people are prepping they're buying they're getting stuff ready and we talked about this for the past a week already the port strike so give me a second here let me just pull up this information too so once again this uh, dock worker strike is much more serious than the news is letting on there are compounding issues at play once again you have the hurricane has debated regional grocery suppliers and has driven people to other stores the strike will lead to extreme pressure on the food supply chain we are seeing all this combination hurricane poor strike nation against nation war 32 days away from november i mean we are seeing some great shaking happening this is the tip of the iceberg all right so please prep get your stuff ready stay in prayer Read your Bible. Get into the gospel and put on the whole armor of God. All right, guys, before I start, for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. I want to thank every single one of you for tuning in. Thank you so much for your support either through paypal or the super thanks thank you so much if you guys want to help and support the channel uh, we have the patreon live stream every monday is only one dollar a month all right so just one dollar a month so let's see what's going on here all the information will be in the description box so just looking at this we went out shopping today me my wife and uh my daughter, our daughter, we went out shopping. We went to Walmart. Now, it wasn't that bad uh, where I live at. And uh, where I live at is basically like in a farm region. It's, you know, the population is not that big. But when you go to like the cities, I mean, we're talking about, you know, again, New York or, you know, big states and stuff like that and huge city. Again, yeah, they are seeing it. They are seeing it. Now, they are saying that uh, this thing is going to impact the holidays. All right. So, price is going to go up. It's going to skyrocket. All right. So, let's see what's going on here. Let me pull up this information. If you can, please share this video. So, we have this one here, right? We're going to read this article. Some panic buying reported in Hampton Roads amid dock workers strike. Look at that line. You see that? It's like Black Friday. Jeez. Panic buying already spreading. All right. As ILA dock worker strike gets underway. Wow. Okay. So we're going to see what's going on in here. Guys, today I've been busy. I've been posting videos left and right. We uh, Again, I post videos about the, the biblical war. The links will be in the comments box. All right, please share the video. Share it. All right, so there are some reports of panic buying in the Hampton Roads area the day the sleeping giant dock workers went on strike, which shut down ports on the east and the Gulf Coast. Wavy viewers have sent photos of long lines at a BJ's Warehouse Club in Hampton, where some... Items like toilet paper were in shorter supply. Yeah, but toilet paper should not be on that list. I heard that it's like automobiles and, you know, certain fruits like blueberries and banana and stuff like that. Um, there was going to be other items, but nothing about toilet paper. All right, so it says here once again, uh, some items like toilet paper were in shorter supply. And of a Walmart in Yorktown where paper towels, water, and other items were in low supply. So Walmart is going to hit. Walmart is seeing something now. 
Walmart is seeing something now. So again, like I said, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Now they're going to have um, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, they're not going to allow people to buy like 20 rows of toilet paper. There's going to be a limit. All right. Because there's going to be shortage and they're going to, you know, people, again, a family is allowed to have one or two items. That's it. So it says here, I didn't expect that everything was sold out. This affect the sprays almost like a little CV. All right. Mm. So look at this one here. Look at that line. That's a long line. It's important to point out that while the strike is expected to have significant effects on the global supply chain, things like toilet paper and paper towel are mostly uh, produced in the U.S. So supplies of those shouldn't be impacted. Again, there you go. So basically, it's like foreign stuff that is going to be impacted. As much as imported products such as electronics and car and machinery parts. We are looking to buy a car and now I'm wondering, are the prices going to be higher now that's, that the inventory is going to be low? Do we wait it out? said Hampton Roads resident, Deborah. Experts say the grocery products that will impact it the most include things like bananas and tropical fruits. About 75% of bananas in the U.S. enter through East Coast and Gulf Coast ports and Im imported alcohol like beer and wine. From Europe and the Caribbean spirits like rum. I really don't care about the, the liquor stuff. Uh, I think it's good. And again, some people is going to be like, Lewis, man, you better stop playing or I will unsubscribe. Don't mess with my beer. But uh, again, beer is something that, uh-uh. And trust me, guys, I used to drink beer. I, I, again, as a Spanish dude, Coronas with, you know, lime. And I used to drink a lot of Coronas, a lot of Coronas. And I was, again, playing dominoes and all that type of stuff. I quit all that. I quit. I, I quit all that. Overall, though, experts warn that while you might still be able to find items, companies will likely pass on the added cost. So eventually, it's just going to give me a second here. Eventually, items will start disappearing. It takes time. It takes time. So you have this person here, a local trucker in Hampton Roads, who heads uh, the for truckers by truckers ad uh, advocacy uh, group. Told the wavy Tuesday morning that consumers should start preparing for some things to be in shorter supply. Hmm. I want the community to start preparing. There you go. Absolutely, I agree. I want the community to start preparing. I want them to go get essentials. Not, you don't have to rush, panic buy, but I do want them to have an essential at their house, toilet paper, paper towels, things of that nature. It's unclear when a deal could be made between International Longshoremen's Association, the union that represents about 45,000 port workers, and the United States Marine Time Alliance, whose contract ended at midnight Monday. However, workers like Waldrick. Reddick and Logstorm, uh, Logstorm men in Portsmouth are hopeful the strike will bring better wages and benefits for workers. And that's what started everything. The people demand wages and benefits. So the union has demanded 77% uh, pay raises over six years to help deal with inflation. I wonder who's responsible for the inflation. You guys already know the person that uh, is running this sleeping giant land. He's the one 
No, Lewis, it's not him. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. It, again, all these sanctions, they have consequences. He slapped sanctions on a bear. He slapped sanctions on a red dragon. Sanctions all over the place. Shutting down the Keystone Pipeline. All this stuff, again, under the uh, under Joey Joey. Joe, he's the one that caused it. Along with a total ban on the automation of cranes, gates, and container moving trucks used in the loading or unloading of freight. Now, guys, this, uh, this here is going to hurt other companies, too. Remember that. It's not only us, you know, when it comes to food, but this is going to hurt other businesses. Businesses like, you know, uh, let's say Home Depot. They need certain items. Uh, certain companies need, uh, you know, materials and tools, and they don't have it. They're going to start laying off on, you know, laying off people. So it's a domino effect. It's going to impact a lot of businesses. It says here, even though the ILA's member worked tirelessly, during the 2020 event to ensure that the nation commerce flowed and continued to sacrifice time with their own families so that goods can arrive in the homes of other families throughout the world. Still, due to corporate greed, employees refuse to compensate the ILA's members fairly over the last several years. The net revenues of these companies have grown astronomically from hundreds of millions to billions of dollars in ILA members. Wage increases do not cover the cost of inflation. The ILA is fighting for respect, appreciation, and fairness in a world in which corporations are dead set on replacing hardworking people with automation. Employers push automation under the guise of safety, but it is really about cutting labor costs to increase their already exceptionally high profits. As the last six years have demonstrated, automation cannot outperform the skilled man and woman of the ILA. Automation of, of our nation's ports should be concerned for everyone. The truth is, robots, robots do not pay taxes and they do not spend money in their communities. The ILA will continue to fight until its member receive the fair contract they deserve. Robots, they do not pay taxes. Wow. Let's go with this one here. Panic buying already spreading in multiple states. Just imagine that. Oh, just wait till WW3 hits the fan. Just wait. Just wait till WW3 hits the fan. I have a strong feeling. If Donald wins, I believe we're going to go to WW3. Because Vladimir, the leader of the bear, Russia, he's not going to go back home. He's not going to withdraw his troops from Crane. And again, you know Donald. Donald's going to be like, you leave? Or, or you know, I got a picture. I'm going to send you. This is your home? Because I will drop the big one where you live at. So WW3 is around the corner. And like I said, whoever gets in, into the spotlight, it doesn't matter who gets in, into the spotlight. I believe WW3 will happen. Now, Donna said he wants to bring peace to the world. When spoken of peace, the sudden destruction shall follow. Remember that. As union dock workers began striking against employees at East and Gulf Coast ports early Tuesday morning, reports of panic buying at supermarkets almost immediately started spreading across social media. Video clips posted by a social media user on X and Facebook showed people rushing to buy water, toilet paper, paper towels, and other items at supermarket and retailer across the U.S. 
Are people already panic buying because of the port strike? Here are the grocery shelves in the water section. And my local Kroger this morning, I realized that we are probably also low on water due to the Haleen aftermath in East Tennessee. But still not great to see this already photographer and I'll skip the name post it in a social media post on X. Where's the picture? Is that the picture? There's a possibility this one here is because of the hurricane. They took all them waters and possibly just gave it to the people out there. That has nothing to do with the port strike. I don't think so because it takes time. It does. All right, we're going to skip some of this stuff here. Some major issues at the bargaining table are wages, benefits, and rules on port automation. All right, so those are the ma major issues, all right? It's the, uh, the wages, the benefits, and other stuff. The ILA said the USMX latest reported uh, wage increase proposal of 50% over six years of a new contract was rejected by its member. The affected ports represented by USMX include three of the U.S. five busiest ports. The port of New York and New Jersey. The port of Savannah, Georgia and Port Houston. Matthew, the leader and CEO of the National Retail Federation, called on the 4-6 administration Tuesday to step in and help end the strike. Joe say, I'm not stepping in. I'm not going to get involved. Let me skip a lot of this stuff here because it's just stuff I've already read to you. So it says here top retailers that could be affected by the work stop page at the port are Walmart, IKEA, Samsung, and Home Depot, according to data from Import Genius and. Arbor Data Science. Last year, Walmart led all U.S. retailers with the most imports to East and Gulf ports, uh, Gulf Co uh, excuse me, Gulf Coast ports. Officials for Walmart said they prepare for any potential disruption to their supply chain. We prepare for unforeseen disruption in our supply chain and maintain additional sources of supply to ensure we have key products available for our customers when and how they want them. Jeffy, a global communications spokesperson for Walmart, told the news. All right. So we are seeing some some updates here, guys. We are seeing some some updates. Some people just posting videos and some people are just very concerned. You have this one here. I don't see nothing going on there. I mean, I don't see no shortage. There's still some stuff there. Yeah, so some people's gonna get the message. A lot of people's not gonna get them. There's only a few people that prep, and again, believe it or not, only a few people that prep. Even even in scriptures, um, you know, the Bible does speak about people are just storing up wheat, and, and it's only a few people 
the uh, the rest of the people when things hit the fan they go to the one that has all the food and they give them gold for a can of sardine so give me a second here I want to talk about other stuff too guys uh, I'm just bringing you some of these updates here it seems like this is all of it for now when it comes to the panic buying let me go on Twitter and see what else is out there. Also, the debate. I kind of missed the debate, but I heard that Vance did really good. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. This thing just came out not too long ago. Let's go with the uh, very top here. What? Hold on. This is not panic buying. This is not panic buying. What is this? Voting in Cali is easier than going into a library or shopping at Costco. Come on, Gavin. You really, really. While Gavin has bared the local gov in California from establishing laws that require residents to show IG to, again, VOTE in November, he hasn't stopped libraries or businesses from re requiring ID. He can't shop at Costco without showing your membership card. And you can't become a member without showing ID. Likewise, you can't get a library card without proving your identity. Los Angeles Public Library said library cards are free to residents of California. You must, however, have a photo identification with your name and current address. Identification can be a California driver license or an ID card issued by the DMV. It's common sense. Yeah. And if you want to go out this November, you need an ID. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. You want to go to a club, you have to be over eight, uh, 21 or 18, whatever, I think mean 21. If you want to uh, purchase alcohol, you have to be 21. ID. If you want to go to the library and you want to get a book, a membership. If you want to work out, you need a membership. You need to show your ID. It's common sense. Do you see what this, this is heading to? If you want to go out this November, you need an ID. <laughs> Man. But for some reason, people just don't see that. Give me a second here, guys. I'm looking for some more updates here. And it seems like this is all of it here. And I did post a lot of videos today, guys. Tons of videos. Please check, uh, check out the videos. The link will be in the comments box. I don't see that much going on. Yeah, I don't see that much going on. All right, guys. This is all of it. Please prep. Please get your stuff. Put on the whole armor of God. And again, um, it's always, always good to prepare. No matter what. Spiritually, physically, and mentally. Don't wait to the very last minute. Don't wait to the very last minute. Give me a second here. Let me just refresh the page one more time. Um... I want to bring up something really quick. This is a, this is coming out. This is coming out. Look at this. Disturbing new accusation against Sean Diddy from more than 100 people, including young ones, young ones, very young ones. He's done. He is done. But he's not the only one. He's not the only one.
those in the spotlight. You guys know. Joey Joey sniffing. Sniffing hair. Come on, it's common sense. Guys, reports came out earlier today. Vladimir, the leader of the bear, has so far refused to respond to Benjamin call. He didn't want to pick up the phone, I guess. All right, guys, this is going to be all of it. Yeah, this is going to be all of it. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the video I posted today. I post one about uh, Chicago, boy oh boy, Chicago uh, gangs, the sleeping giant gangs versus the Venezuela gangs. All right, they're talking about this is going to be like the Italians versus the Irish of 1920. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. For those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path, and that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.